Hey everyone! Today I wanted to share with you how to make this new style of flipbook that I have been loving lately. I was inspired to make this kind of flipbook from pictures I saw of mini scrapbook albums online. And because Halloween is just around the corner, I wanted to make a flipbook with that theme. I'm going to be sending this one out to a pen pal of mine. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so to make this flipbook, you are going to need strips of paper that measure 4.5 inches by 12 inches. I am using double-sided paper. Now I've made this flipbook using both one-sided and double-sided paper, and I've found that using double-sided paper is so much easier. But no worries, if you don't have double-sided paper, all you need to do is just glue more paper to the back of your pages once you have them cut out. Alright, so to begin, we need to have these tab templates. I found these on Google and just adjusted them to the size that I need. They are 4.5 inches long, so just as long as our paper. And I will include a printable for you if you would like down below in the description box. Alright, so once you have these templates, you're going to take a ruler and mark your paper at 2.5 inches. This will be the first page or the tiny cover of your flipbook. And when you have that done, take the tab template and align the top of it with the mark that you made. Then just trace it and cut it out. Alright, so now for the second page of our flipbook, we are taking another sheet of paper and marking it at three and a half inches this time. Now make sure to make your mark at the top of the page this time so it will be easier to trace the tab template. I marked the bottom there and then I remembered I had to mark the top so I'm doing that now. So we want the tab to be at the bottom of the page this time, so just take that same tab template we used for the first page and just flip it upside down. And then once again, align that top edge with the mark you made and trace it and cut it out. Okay, so to make the middle page of our flipbook, we are once again taking another sheet of paper. This time you need to make a mark either at the top or bottom of the page, it doesn't matter, that measures four and a half inches. So each page of our flipbook will end up being one inch longer than the previous page. So once you have done that, just go ahead and take the template that has the tab part in the middle and just align it up with that mark you made on your paper and then just go ahead and trace it and cut it out. Okay, and you can see here that our flipbook is starting to take its shape. Alright, so now for the um, fifth page of our flipbook, we are taking one of those papers we used earlier and I'm taking this candy one just so I can kind of put my paper into a pattern which we will see later. And I just cut off the edge there so that I can have nice straight paper to work with. And now you're just measuring your fifth page at five and a half inches. So once again, um, I'm measuring at the top here because I want the tab to be on the bottom of the page. And once you have marked out that just go ahead and once again align the top edge of that top template with your mark trace it and cut it out all 
Okay, and now we are going to make our final page. So I'm just taking a piece of paper I used previously in the flipbook, cutting off the edge to have nice clean paper to work with. And for the last page of our flipbook, we want it to measure six and a half inches. So I'm marking at the bottom here because I want the last tab to be at the top. So once you have that mark, just do what we've done this whole time, align it, trace it, and cut it up. Alright, so now that all of our pages are cut, we are going to go ahead and secure our flipbook together with some washi tape. I am using this orange and black polka dot washi tape because it matches the Halloween theme. So just go ahead and secure each page onto the flipbook with your washi tape. And then when you get to the um, end of your flipbook and all of it's secure, you need to go ahead and add some washi tape to the outside to bind it all together. And for this part, I suggest that you use um, some thicker washi tape. I use spiderweb washi tape that was, I believe, one inch thick. So um, that just gives the book some more room to um, breathe once you get all the goodies and embellishments inside. And um, it also can wrap around the entire book, if that makes sense. So yeah. Alright, and once you do that, your flipbook is complete, the base is done, and all that's left to do is embellish and decorate and add all those goodies for your pen pal. So, once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you could understand this tutorial. If you have any questions about it whatsoever, please feel free to just leave those down below and I will get back to you. And yeah, um, if you do decide to make this kind of flipbook, I would love to see it. So go ahead and um, just tag me on Instagram at Bambi's Mail with your flipbook. Alright you guys, take care and happy crafting. Bye!